Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite romance tropes ever, which is a forced proximity trope. Baby, baby. I love forced proximity romances. Give me a setting where the two characters are forced to be in a small space or one building together alone. It's a recipe for an amazing time. If you've watched my snowstorm romance rec video that was posted a few weeks ago, uh, these are also on there because snowstorms are a great way to make people in forced proximity as well. Uh, so a few of these are repeats from that video, but not many. I just wanted to forewarn you. There are a few repeats. I think there's only like three repeats, but um, I'm excited to share these recommendations with you. So let's get started. So first we have our contemporary romances. First is one of the most recent reads that I absolutely adored. It is Rush by Emma Scott. Our heroine Charlotte in here is a Juilliard graduate living in New York City, and she is really wanting to find a better job because the jobs that she's currently doing right now aren't really paying much, especially for rent in New York City. She ends up getting an opportunity for a interview um, for this position. She gets hired for it and it's to be a caretaker for this man. Sorry for the sun flare, y'all. Look at that. Makes my eyes pop though. Anyway, um, so Charlotte has been hired to be a caretaker for this man. Um, she is shocked when she realizes that said man is quite young and beautiful. Um, his name is Noah, but he is so 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 mean he is so mean noah is very gruff he has a lot of trauma and is very depressed and very angry with his life right now um he used to be an extreme sport athlete um he would do these giant cliff dives and jumps and extreme sports all throughout the world and he'd write articles about his experience but then he got in a accident that left him without the ability to see he is blind now he is really struggling because he can't do the things that he loves anymore or he thinks he can't and um he's really struggling with that and takes it out on everyone around him he just stays in his apartment in new york all by himself it takes a lot of convincing to let charlotte live with him and help him out around the apartment charlotte and um noah get to know each other very reluctantly they both do not like each other because of how rude Noah is and how Charlotte is invading his space when he just wants to be miserable and alone. Like that's what he thinks he deserves. But they get to know each other throughout this experience and they fall in love. They are in forced proximity because they do have to live together. Um, They are roommates. So it is so good. I really recommend this Emma Scott. Another roommate forced proximity is Hidden Waters by Catherine Cowles. It's probably my favorite Catherine Cowles book. It is Fantastic. This is the third book in her Tattered and Torn series. You can read these books as standalones. Catherine Cowles has said that. However, I feel like you'd get the best reading experience out of this series if you've read all the other books as well. Especially when it comes to this story because this one's about Addie and you've read about her in book one and book two and her escaping the cult that she was in basically. And um, you read about her whole experience getting out of that in books one and book two. Um, so book three is about her trying to live on her own after this whole experience that happened to her. And she ends up getting a roommate and it happens to be her cousin's fiance's brother, whose name is, I'm so sorry, I'm bad with names. I've got to figure it out. Beckett. His name is Beckett. Um, he is a doctor. She is very nervous at first. She does not have the best experience with men, especially living with men um, because of the cult. Beckett really is so gentle and kind and patient with her and just wants her to feel safe and welcome living with him. Oh my God, they, he is stunning. He is a stunning man. Catherine Cowles wrote the most beautiful man ever in this book, I love him. The two of them become friends while they're roommates and then it quickly develops into something more and it is, it's beautiful. Next I have Guarding Temptation by Tali Hibbert. This is a very short novella, but I have to recommend Tali Hibbert whenever I can because I adore her. James and Nina are two main characters in here and Nina is off limits to James because that is his best friend's little sister. Um, the two of them, you read about the beginning, they had a hookup like a, a few months ago, they had a hookup and it kind of ended in a disaster. And Nina claimed afterwards, like I never wanna see or speak to you ever again. And James is heartbroken about this. He is obsessed with Nina. He loves Nina, but he thinks that he can never have her because it's forbidden. James, I believe, um, is in like the bodyguard business or something like that. I can't remember. Um, so Nina like comes to him when she starts getting like death stalker threats and James is there to protect her and kind of be obsessively protective over her, but it's so, so hot. Nina is gonna be staying with James in his apartment, I think. No, 
James sleeps on Nina's couch. And so the two of them are forced to be in this small proximity with each other for many a days while he tries to figure out who the stalker is. Um, and man, do they get in some hot times during this sleepover session. Big Boss by Cassie Mint is one of my favorite novellas ever. I love this one. So our heroine in here, she is a college student and she goes with her roommate back home for Christmas break or holiday break, winter break, whatever. Any of those terms work. <laughs> um, but she goes with her roommate to her place um, to spend the holidays with her and her dad because she doesn't have the best home life. So her roommate invites her. Her roommate has some things that she's doing over winter break. I believe she has a job. So a lot of the time our heroine and her best friend's dad are stuck in the house together alone. Um, and the two of them have been pining after each other for a while. Like our heroine is basically in love with her best friend's dad. <laughs> the two of them are alone in his house quite often forced to interact with each other. For them, the dam breaks, they fall in love and they have a little bit of a struggle trying to tell their daughter and their best friend about this whole situation, but they can't live without each other. One that I mentioned in my snowstorm romance rec video, I think the next two are from that. Uh, one is Icebound. This one is a like snowstorm romance. They're stuck in the heroine's cabin um, for a while. The heroine in here is a widow and um, she five years ago, she lost her husband and her baby in a tragic snowstorm and she has been alone, like a recluse in her cabin ever since then. One day, this injured man ends up on her doorstep during a snowstorm and she rescues him, brings her into the cabin, brings him, sorry, into the cabin and nurses him back to health and they spend a few days in the cabin alone together. She is trying to deal with all of her grief still um, and she slowly starts to fall in love with this mysterious man who ended up on her doorstep. This one is a very short, wintry read if you wanna pick it up. I also have Stocking Stuffers, which is a grumpy sunshine romance that's also a snowstorm. Um, our heroine in here, Sasha, is a saleswoman for a specific type of product for women. <laughs> and she goes to this B&B um, to uh, kind of like market her products to this specific like book club of women. And one of the owners or head people of the book club owns the B&B. Um, and so she's selling her products and there she meets Perry, who is the brother to the woman who owns the B&B. And right when he sees Sasha, He's like smitten. He's like, girl, I'm so attracted to you. The two of them have a fun couple of days together because they're both stuck in the v and during a snowstorm. Um, and they're like, why the heck not? Let's have some fun together during this time. Um, but Sasha just is planning on like leaving after this and not speaking to him again. She just thinks like it's a wham bam thinking man kind of deal when Perry wants a relationship at the end of the day after this because he is totally into Sasha. So the forced proximity aspect in here is obviously the snowstorm in a B and B. I really enjoy this one. It's probably my favorite holiday romance. So take with that what you will. I also have Santa Baby by Cassie Mint. This one is forced proximity, I think because of the snowstorm. I can't remember, but they're both at this bar. So let me start over. Okay, this is a Christmas holiday novella between Clara and Jack. So Jack hired Clara to work at his bar a few years ago and she has been an amazing employee ever since. She's also had a huge crush on him ever since, but there is a wide age gap between the two. And she doesn't know that Jack feels the same way, but he totally does. Then it's Christmas Eve and things happen between the two of them. Um, I think she is decorating for Christmas or something like that. Jack just so happens to still be in the bar and they're stuck in the bar together and things heat up are very spicy between the two. I would love to mention Caspar by Ruby Dixon, which is one of her Corsair Brothers books. This is the second book in the series. This is a series you definitely have to read in order. So Corsairs are space alien pirates in this series, okay? So um, these three brothers are all trying to find this hidden treasure that's in space. They end up finding the treasure and realizes that the treasure on this abandoned spaceship isn't like gold or jewels or anything like that. It's human women, human slaves who've been abducted. And so they're all trying to protect these human women. Caspar in here has been, at the other book, you read about him being shoved into an escape pod with a human woman named, um, what's her name? I'm so sorry, I'm so bad with names. Alice, her name's Alice. They get shoved in this escape pod together and Caspar is going to protect Alice through everything. They are in forced proximity because they're on this space, tiny space pod that's probably like half the size of my room, like stuck together. Um, for like weeks. 
Um, and things get tension heavy between the two. They're both attracted to each other. They both need to let off some steam, okay? So only part of the book is forced proximity though. They're both stuck in the spaceship for quite a while. Um, but then the spaceship ends up crashing on this jungle planet that they have not found any other like inhabitants of and so they're trying to survive together on this jungle planet afterward in hopes that his brothers will track them down and save them and rescue them. This one is so hot. It's so fun. These books are a little bit chunky though, just for warning. Um, but these brothers are so fantastic. And the last two I love to mention were also in my Snowstorm Romance Rec video. So the Seven Brides for Seven Alien Brothers series by Honey Phillips is an alien romance series that I've been just loving. There's only four books out so far. There's gonna be seven. But each book is about kind of like a alien brother in arms that lives on the plant going to the human village and kidnapping a human to make them his bride. Not every book is a kidnapping one. But that's what the majority of them are. So the two that have like the most forced proximity aspect that I loved the most um, is book number three, which is Callum. Our heroine here, Pearl, is trying to find her sister who was kidnapped in book two. She's trying to find her. She's in a snowstorm. She's trying to find her sister and she goes off into a snowstorm and ends up getting like trampled by an avalanche almost basically. And Callum is riding by on his horse and finds like her hand sticking out of the snow and rescues her and brings her to the barn on his property. And they spend some time together in said barn during the snowstorm. Um, so forced proximity there, definitely. Callum and um, Pearl in here have been uh, pining after each other for quite a while. They can't stop thinking about each other. And when they're in this forced proximity situation, the dam breaks, they tell their feelings, they, they, they explode basically, and they have a fun old time together in this barn. Um, and it turns into something more. Um, and then the other one that has a good force proximity is uh, Drakkar. This one is about one of the alien brothers literally going to the human village, seeing a human woman he is very interested in and kidnapping her. But the heroine, um, she was in an abusive relationship with her baby daddy. And so he ends up taking her and her baby with him to his cave. And they are all stuck in this cave together during a over a week-long snowstorm and so yeah they're they're stuck they're in forced proximity definitely um but he is so sweet and they fall in love obviously and that's about it this was a fairly short video because i feel like i've already mentioned a few of these books quite often um so if you would like more recommendations be sure to check out my other forced proximity recommendations down below i have a whole other video talking about more recs. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to and if you don't feel like commenting any of those things leave me a house emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up, today's gonna be a good day.